In general, a very important hazard of anesthetic machines is that if for some reason the gases inhaled by the patient cannot escape, pressure builds up in the airways and the animal may become injured by barotrauma. A typical case of this is when someone forgets the APL valve in closed position. Then depending on the size of the animal and the size of the breathing bag, a catastrophe can occur as fast as 15 seconds, which is a very short time to troubleshoot something. To address this problem, I developed a pressure relief device that can protect any breathing system. I will introduce it to you later. But there is another protection system, such as this intelligent APL valve here on this uh, Mindray Veta 5 machine. Similar calibrated APL valves are often used in human medicine, but they are rare in the classical veterinary anesthesia machines. If I forget, accidentally forget, to open the APL valve after the manual breath, nothing wrong will happen because the pressure will go up to 20 centimeter of water only and the excess pressure will not develop because the gas will be vented by this pop-off valve. So this kind of pop-off valve already provides lots of protection. However, this APL valve on the VETA-5 machines offer another protective mechanism. To give a breath using a classical anesthetic machine, one have to completely close the APL valve, give a breath, and then open it again. I don't have to explain again what happens if someone forgets to open it again. So here is the solution for a problem. This is an instant occlusion device. Other systems may use similar instant occlusion devices, but I find this one particularly in this uh, VETA-5 and VETA-3 machines, such a nice design. It's, it has a nice color that is easy to see. It's big, it's good to touch. It's really a nice and practical solution for this problem. So if I press this valve, it closes the system up to 30 centimeters of water. Then I press the balloon to give a breath to an animal, and then I release the valve, and the system is automatically open. It's impossible to forget it in a closed position. It's simply perfect. There is another protective mechanism in the VETA-5 if you use the integrated rebreathing system and not the non-rebreathing system. Because the pressures in the breathing circuit are monitored by the VETA-5, and an alarm will sound if the pressures are reaching a dangerously high level. Despite there are multiple levels of overpressure protection mechanism in this well-designed machine, there is no system that protects from overpressure if the anesthetic gas outlet is blocked. Interestingly, blockage of this outlet is the major cause of barotrauma in human anesthesia rather than forgetting the APL valve closed. The reason for this is that such a sophisticated protection mechanism that I described before are so widespread in human anesthesia that forgetting the APL valve in closed position, it's not a significant source of danger anymore. However, blocking this outlet can lead to a similar catastrophic event just as well. The best solution is to use corrugated plastic hoses to scavenge anesthetic gases because they are less likely to kink. There may be a temptation using silicon tubings because they are cheaper and easier to work with. However, they are prone to kink and they can block the gas flow completely. This can happen simply by pushing the anesthesia machine to the wall and thereby causing a complete blockage of the outflow. This can also fail if someone steps on the hose or puts some furniture on the tubing and so on. So the best solution is to mount an extra pressure relief device right here between the anesthetic gas scavenging system, scavenging system outlet and the corrugated scavenging hose. So you can remove this original adapter and change it to this one, which is sold on the market. It has a pressure relief mechanism and it fits right here and you can reattach your VETA guard, and now your scavenging system is pressure protected. Blockage of the scavenging outflow is a very scary possibility 
because in this case, nothing wrong will be seen at the front end of the anesthesia machine, and the anesthetist may not be able to find the problem fast enough. But please remember, if your patient is inflated with a high pressure and cannot exhale, don't worry about the equipment, but disconnect the patient immediately at the endotracheal tube side and the white piece. This will instantly relieve the pressure and you can work on saving the patient rather than fixing the machine. My name is Dr. Tomasz Ambrisko and I'm a veterinary anesthesiologist. Thank you for watching.